Hey guys, I'm Stephanie. I'm the editor at Maxim Magazine. We're here at 7-Eleven for our second annual Celebrity Chef Competition. We have three chefs competing to make an entree using only ingredients and materials found in a 7-Eleven. We've given them a little bit of help and let them bring two special ingredients of their own. Our three contestants are Spike Mendelson, chef owner of Good Eatery in DC. Can I get you another Frito bag? Nadia G, host of Cooking Channel's Bitch and Kitchen. So now let's think, in 10 minutes, what are we gonna do with this crust? And Chef Dale Talley, who's starting right behind me and opening his restaurant tonight. Can't light anything in here. The dishes will be presented for a panel of judges, David Swanson of Maxim Magazine, Michael Ian Black, and a real 7-Eleven employee. They're going to be judged on presentation, creativity, effective use of the 7-Eleven ingredients, and overall taste. The 30 minutes for your entree starts now. I'm making a spicy kimchi bacon ramen. Bacon, Vienna sausages, a cup of noodles, butter. And what are the special ingredients? I didn't bring any. I kept it real up in this bitch. I'm making a chicken a la queen. When most people think of 7-Eleven, they're thinking, you know, fast food, greasy goodness. But I'm gonna make a dish that tastes like mama's home. What are the special ingredients that you brought? I brought red onions, but I see that you guys already have onions over here, so I'm gonna see. And parsley. I'm gonna start off with like a little appetizer. And before I get into the main course, we're gonna do a Frito pie. These are like second up to the judges kind of thing. I love Fritos. Doesn't count, doesn't count, a little snack. I only brought one special ingredient and it is over here. It's the bacon infused bourbon. Bourbon and Coke, right? Bourbon and Coke go classically together. So we're gonna do a bacon bourbon slurpee. Who doesn't like buffalo wings and blue cheese and ranch? So we're gonna take all those wonderful ingredients and put them on a 7-Eleven pizza dough. Look time, look time. Yeah, it's okay. The crust looks a little mushy. I know, I know. These French Canadian women, let me tell ya. There we go. Okay, chefs, your time is up. Now on to the judging. First up is Dale's bacon ramen. Next up we have is Nadia's Chicken a la Queen. It feels like a big meal. Finally, we have Spike's Buffalo Chicken Pizza. Yeah, that's a very good bechamel. Now, on to the verdict. We were of two minds. Nadia and Dale sort of took what was already inherent in the 7-Eleven and turned it into more of what you would expect to find in a home-cooked meal or a restaurant setting. Whereas Spike, I feel like, really embraced the idea of convenience store cuisine. Therefore, after much deliberation and consideration, Spike, you are our Maxim 7-Eleven Chef Challenge. No!